Are you really getting a better quality drill bit when you reach for that more expensive name brand set or should you just stick with the less expensive ones? Today we'll be testing 11 different brands, the least expensive brand costing under $10 and the most expensive one costing $40. Let's see if that $10 set can beat the $40 set. We'll assess the speed and quality of finish using this half inch mild steel. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens to these twist drills when they come in contact with some 304 stainless. This hardened steel will really put these twist drills to the test. Every set of drill bits tested has at least one half inch drill bit in it and the cost had to be under $40 per set. I'll be testing the twist drills using the Craftsman 15 inch drill press. I'm gonna attach the small wheel to the drill press in order to apply a constant downward force. I'm also gonna be adjusting the amount of weight applied to this wheel so the amount of downward force is gonna change based upon the diameter of the drill bit as well as the type of metal that we'll be drilling. Fortunately, this drill press has a speed chart for the size of drills that we'll be using. We'll start off with the half inch drill and since we'll be using some mild steel for the first test, the chart says anywhere from 340 to 510 RPM, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this up for 340. I've got 15 pounds of weight on the wheel, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it down and we'll see how much force is applied to the weight scale. 111.6 pounds. So we'll be using 111.6 pounds of downward force as we drill into the mild steel. I'm gonna apply 10 drops of cutting fluid to the top of the bit and allow it to run down the bit during the drilling process. When the drill tries to break through the steel, the bit is going to come to a sudden stop. At that point, the test will end. The least expensive brand we'll be testing include these Black & Decker Black Oxide drill bits, 18 pieces for only $9.97. Okay, the temperature is about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. No damage to the Black & Decker bit. It actually looks fairly good. Very small amount of wear on the leading edge. At only $10.98 is this Craftsman brand gold oxide drill bit set for 14 pieces. Very impressive job by Craftsman compared to Black & Decker cutting through this steel at about twice the speed. The drill bit's a lot cooler at only 117 degrees Fahrenheit. There's no visible damage or wear to this drill. Costing $14.97 are these Black Oxide Standard Tip drill bits made by DeWalt. It's the fastest time yet. The temperature is about 120 degrees, very close to the same as the Craftsman. There's no visible damage to the DeWalt drill. Just like the DeWalt bits, the HyperTuff also cost $14.97 for their black oxide drill bits. The difference though is you get 29 drill bits with HyperTuff instead of just 14 with DeWalt. Two minutes and 32 seconds for the HyperTuff. 170 degrees Fahrenheit on the tip of the drill. The HyperTuff does have a little bit more wear than the other brands. Costing $14.98, this Tool Shop brand, which is sold at Menards, is a 29-piece black oxide set. About two minutes and 19 seconds for the tool shop bit. This drill is pretty hot at about 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Definitely not the same quality of drill that we've seen with some of the other brands. A little bit of wear and a chisel as well. Costing $15.97 is this Ryobi brand 21 piece black oxide drill bit set. Three seconds for Ryobi. 165 degrees Fahrenheit on the drill. Looks like a very small amount of wear on the chisel. Costing $15.98 is this gold oxide 17 piece set made by Metabo and sold at Menards. One thirty-four with Metabo. The tip of the drill is about one hundred and ten degrees Fahrenheit. No visible wear with Metabo. Costing eighteen dollars and ninety-nine cents is this titanium standard tip twenty-nine piece drill bit set sold at Harbor Freight. Two minutes and fourteen seconds with the Warrior. One hundred thirty degrees Fahrenheit. No visible wear with the Warrior. Costing $19.99. Also sold at Harbor Freight is this Barra brand 17 piece titanium drill bit set. Four times longer life, titanium coated.
55 seconds, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The barrel looks as good as new. Costing $24.97 is this titanium split tip 15 piece Milwaukee brand set of bits. It claims to have shockwave impact duty designed for metal. Minute 9 seconds for Milwaukee. Milwaukee looks as good as new. Costing $29.99, the second most expensive set of drill bits we'll be testing is this Masterforce brand. Now this includes a 21-piece titanium drill bit set. Minute and 41 seconds for Masterforce. About 135 degrees. No visible damage to Masterforce. The most expensive brand we'll be testing is this Bosch brand costing $39.99 for only 14 pieces. Now this claims to have a 10 times longer lifespan M42 8% cobalt. Right at 51 seconds with the Bosch. 120 degrees. The Bosch looks as good as new. While the Black & Decker drill was a little slow, it did a pretty good job as far as the quality of the cut. While the Craftsman was very fast, you can see that it didn't provide a very smooth finish. Dwelt was the fastest drill at 47 seconds, and it did a very good job. Nice smooth finish with the HyperTuff. Tool Shop's not quite as smooth as some of the other brands. Ryobi didn't make quite as clean of a cut as some of the other brands. Metabo actually did a fairly good job. The Warrior actually looked slightly better than Metabo. Dyer seemed to do a great job. Milwaukee is very smooth and did a terrific job. Masterforce did a fairly good job, but I think some of the chips caused some of this damage. I have to say, I definitely think Bosch did the best job. This is an extremely smooth finish. If you're looking for a brand that cuts fast with the least amount of downward force or pressure on the twist drill, the third least expensive brand, the DeWalt brand, did a terrific job coming in first, and it made a very clean cut. Bosch, the most expensive brand, came in a very close second and delivered a slightly cleaner finish than DeWalt. Craftsman, Ryobi, Bauer, and Milwaukee also made quick work of the mild steel as well. Up next, we'll be testing these drills on some spring steel. This is half inch steel off of an old sickle mower and this stuff is extremely hard. I'm gonna stay with 340 RPM on the spring steel. Since this is spring steel, I went ahead and spot drilled. Unfortunately, Black & Decker's not making any progress. It's just making metal dust, so I went and stopped the test. The chisel looks a little bit worn on the Black & Decker. A minute and 53 seconds for Craftsman. Just like last time, Craftsman just didn't leave a very smooth finish. A very small amount of wear on the cutting lip as well as the chisel. Testing DeWalt. Just like last time, DeWalt's finish is fairly smooth. Very small amount of wear on the DeWalt. Hyper tough. We're not going anywhere with Hyper Tough, so I'm going to go ahead and add five more pounds just to see if it just needs more weight applied. Three minutes and six seconds. Just like last time, Hyper Tough provided a fairly smooth finish. Definitely a little bit of wear on the chisel as well as the cutting lip. Testing tool shot. Just like we did for HyperTuff, I'm gonna add five more pounds for Tool Shop. The chisel and the cutting lip are definitely showing a lot of wear on this drill. I'm ending the test with Ryobi just because it's not making any progress. Quite a bit of wear on the Ryobi. Testing Metabo. I'm at five more pounds to Metabo. It was cutting for a while and now it's pretty much come to a stop. Unfortunately, Metabo just did not make very much progress at all in this hole. The cutting lip on the Metabo just doesn't seem very sharp and the chisel doesn't either. I'm 
that, five more pounds to the Warrior. Unfortunately, the Warrior is going nowhere fast, so I'm going to double the original amount of weight from 15 pounds to 30 pounds, which translates into well over 200 pounds of downward force on this drill. There's definitely a slight amount of wear on the chisel and the cutting lip. I'm gonna go ahead and five more pounds to the bower. To bower is still not cutting very well, so I'm gonna go ahead and add another 10 pounds. That's about 220 pounds of downward force. The power got the job done, but it took double the amount of force as some of the other drills. There's definitely some wear on the cutting lip. Testing the Milwaukee. Okay, 20 pounds on the Milwaukee. Up to 30 pounds in the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee drill actually looks pretty good. Maybe a slight amount of wear on the chisel. Adding five more pounds to Master Force. I'm gonna add 10 more pounds to Master Force for a total of 30 pounds. Master Force has a very slight amount of wear on the chisel, starting with 15 pounds with the Bosch. Definitely the best drill we've tested yet. This thing really tore it up. Very impressive time. Okay, the Bosch drill did not get hot and this thing still looks like new. Very impressive drill. The only three twist drills that were able to cut through the spring steel with approximately 111 pounds of downward force were the Craftsman, Dewalt, and Bosch. Some of the other brands were able to make very quick work of the spring steel but required a lot more pressure or force. You'll probably find the next test helpful if you're looking for an affordable set of twist drills for a drill press or a tool that offers a lot of leverage. For the next test, I'll use a 3 8 inch twist drill on a half inch piece of 304 stainless with approximately 175 pounds of pressure on the twist drill. I'll set the Drill press RPM to 340. Black and Decker. About a minute and 25 seconds for Black and Decker. About 27 seconds for Craftsman. Testing DeWalt. The belts on the drill press just weren't tight enough, so I'm going to try it one more time with DeWalt. Twenty-three seconds with DeWalt. Hyper tough. Unfortunately, hyper tough just isn't up to the task. Tool shot. About twenty-four seconds with tool shot. Twenty-seven seconds with Ryobi. Metabo. Twenty-seven seconds for Metabo. Testing Harbor Freight Warrior. Thirty-nine seconds for the Harbor Freight Warrior. About twenty seconds for Bauer. Milwaukee. Twenty-two seconds for Milwaukee. Master Force. Nineteen seconds with Master Force. Bosch. Twenty-four seconds with the Bosch. Drill presses provide a leverage advantage over just using a hand drill and applying 175 pounds of downward force on the 3 8 inch twist drill allowed most of the twist drills to make quick work of the 304 stainless. The Black & Decker struggled a little bit more than the competition and the Hyper Tough just wasn't able to drill through the stainless. Speed and speed make a huge difference when it comes to these twist drills lasting. In the past I've made the mistake of having some very nice twist drills destroyed because I used too much speed and not enough downward pressure. 
pressure. In this next demonstration, using the appropriate feed and speed, and we'll see if it can fully cut through this wrench. The twist drill for DeWalt made quick work of this wrench, feeding through it in about 20 seconds, and it cut through the steel. Up next, I'm going to increase the speed to 3100 RPM, way too fast, and I'm going to take a lot of weight off, and we're going to see what happens with the Bosch, which is, again is a better twist drill in my opinion. Wow, the Bosch drill did a terrible job, and that's because I didn't have enough downward force and I had way too much speed. Unfortunately, this is how I've destroyed a lot of drill bits in the past, just using way too much speed and definitely not enough downward force. It's always a good day when I find a product that costs less and delivers more than the competition. And today, the DeWalt did just that. It cut faster than the competition, and it also did a fine job as far as the quality of cut. I also like the Bosch, although it is the most expensive brand. It would be my choice if I had a lot of hard steel to cut, such as 304 stainless. I read and reply to as many comments as possible, so if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Just want to say thanks again for watching the video. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.